was born in Vietnam and raised in France. It is important to me to tell the history, the colonial exploitation, much like the tragedy of the US Army spraying chemicals from my intimate artist point of view. In the 60s, the US Air Force dropped an immoral quantity of dioxins on Vietnamese soil, destroying a thousand years old, fertile, luxurious land and condemning an entire population for several generations. Uh, Agent Orange is um, the chemical whose effects we are the most familiar with, but actually it was combined with other agents, the white, the pink, the blue, the purple, gather all together to form a lethal weapon. My imaginary was stained by the six colors of the rainbow herbicides, which is the toxic spray operation name, and somehow had chosen to respond to them. Somehow, the colors of grey, um, the series is the reflection of that destruction. The six colors apply together in different transparencies and different orders. Even intents inevitably produce an abatement, a landscape of ashes, a chromatic field of melancholy, a field of grey. Memory is not a subject for me, it is rather a means, a way, not to study it really, but to reveal moments of sharing, historical moments, intimate moments from the past or the present, moments of trouble, moments of beauty. They are more the subjects that I invest. Using memory in my way of working means calling upon traumas, personal or collective. Um, we don't think about it often, but one of the main actions of memory is also to forget as much as to remember, actually. I then try to find processes of memory in the matters that I choose in my work. So for the painting, the pigments and the lime, somehow they have a process of memory by imprint, but always with a loss, a gap, an imperfection. And there's something very particular in the forgetting. It reveals something, um, a place of the metamorphose. And if you look deep inside the painting, Actually, you could see some ghosts, ghost forms that reappear from the background. They guide us somehow um, to grasp the inner landscape of the paintings. According to me, we are made by stains. Um, I mean, perfect surfaces, virgin background, flat wall, white page, white history in reality don't exist. They, um, they are a kind of strange phantasma of purity. I see us as mutants. We are born on a stained land and we are mutants made by phenomena of contaminations and mutations how we have to live and negotiate with our human stain and in a way colors of grey reflect that landscape from between between the obscurity and the light the notion of a stain is important here it calls attention to the mental colonization from where we have to escape, actually. And so for the series Colors of Grey, I attempted a kind of deliverance by creating a work from the space of that mental colonization and facing the original one, the, the one of the destroyed land. It is always a question of grasping, fixing, 
the memories of contiguous forces and of translating their reciprocal intensities, the deeper the trauma, the more the beauty involved in the work will have to extend.